if you're struggling because you're not being productive enough and you have problems like procrastination and constant distraction and bright shiny object syndrome and generally just feeling overwhelmed and yeah being unproductive then of course those are bad things but it can also be an advantage for you and that's what I want to talk to you about today of course suffering from procrastination and lack of productivity is very unpleasant so how can it be an advantage well the thing is this isn't just happening to you and you can watch my previous video for more on this but basically the truth is that we live in a world we live in an environment where distraction is common and everybody's suffering from more distraction more procrastination and bright shiny object syndrome and you can make yourself the exception to that rule Not only is everyone suffering from these problems, but the solutions that we are presented are also totally the wrong solutions. Because the kind of solution we want, the kind of solution we hope for, is a quick fix, is something that gives us instant gratification. I mean, imagine if I told you, oh, you suffer from procrastination, you know, crippling procrastination, you're not getting anything done. Oh, it's easy, you know, just go to the app store, download this free app, install it, and you're done. You'll never procrastinate again. Right? That's the kind of thing we want. We want a quick fix, a shortcut, a hack to solve this problem. And because that's what we want, because we want instant gratification so much, most of the content that we find about solutions to these problems is skewed towards this kind of quick fix, this kind of shortcut. Right? Because if you create content online, if you're a news outlet or you, you create videos or whatever, you will very quickly see when you look at your numbers that whenever you talk about, oh, you know, the, the top five productivity tools to use right now, that gets way more clicks, way more views, way more engagement, and therefore more ad revenue than if you write about something that doesn't imply a quick solution, that doesn't imply instant gratification. So this way, all content, because the goal is always to get more people to, to see your content, to get more ad revenue and so on, all content is skewed towards this, like even this video, you know, if the title of this video was, you know, one secret app that 5x is your productivity, it will get way more views than this video is going to get. So we all have this problem. We're all being fed the wrong kind of solution. We all look for the solution in the wrong place. And these solutions, the hacks, the shortcuts, the quick tips, they simply don't work. The key to actually solving these problems is to look at this as a skill. Focus is a skill. Discipline is a skill. The ability to set goals and follow through of them is a skill. So in other words, productivity is a set of skills. And you can think of this, it's well, it's like learning a new skill. Let's say you try to, you go surfing for the first time. Well, what's going to happen? The first time you go surfing, you're going to be falling off the surfboard all the time. In fact, it feels almost impossible to stand up on the surfboard. And it's kind of painful, it's kind of frustrating, you're very bad at it. And the only way to get good at it is to keep doing it over time. There is no way in which someone can come up to you and say, oh, there's just this one tip, right? If you just do this one thing, suddenly you can surf. That's not how it works. Or you can think of it like a muscle, right? It's like you have these different productivity muscles and you have to build them up over time. The first time you try it out, you're going to be weak, you're going to be uncoordinated and you're not going to be good at it. And just like with building your muscles, there's, there's not a single tip that you can implement that suddenly makes you 10 times stronger. The only way to get stronger is to do it slowly and over time. So instead of looking for the shortcut, instead of looking for the quick fix, think of it as building your productivity muscles over time. And the value of doing this is really hard to overstate in two ways. First of all, in the way it can give you an advantage so because everyone is permanently distracted and because no one is building these skills and everyone's looking for the solutions in the wrong places, you can gain a huge advantage by shifting your focus and starting to build these skills. But if you're an entrepreneur, obviously it's gonna make a huge difference to your ability to actually get things done and actually achieve your goals. And if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're employed, then, well, it's gonna be a huge advantage if you have this skill, for example, of doing focused work, you'll have a huge advantage over your peers very quickly, right? Because it's something, this is becoming like an obscure, esoteric and rare skill for someone to be able to sit down and focus on something 
for long periods of time, for someone to be able to follow through on something. And, well, like I said, no amount of tools and hacks is going to get you there. It's a skill that you build up over time. The second way in which this is hugely valuable is it's basically an investment, right? It's hugely valuable in terms of where it can get you in life. Because building these skills, the problem is that, you know, if you start today, then tomorrow it won't have made a big difference. But like three to six months from now, it will make a big difference. A year from now, a huge difference. Five years from now, whether or not you invest in these skills will completely transform what your life looks like five years from now. You know, the reason that I'm hanging out in Bali right now and in Singapore and basically wherever I want is because, and if you've been following me for a long time, you know this, I have been going on about this skill thing forever, right? I realized years and years ago that this was a point where I could gain an advantage. I realized that I could start building specific skills related to productivity and entrepreneurship. As a result of that, I was able to build a business that gives me the freedom to work from wherever I want and basically be wherever I want. It gives me this ultimate freedom. Without these skills, without this focus on slowly building these skills, I would be nowhere near where I am now. But this is a thing, right? This is like a quirk of the human mind. The thing is, I'm talking about a long-term investment here. And this just doesn't get us excited. The human brain, this doesn't tickle the part of the human brain that makes us do things easily, right? This is the kind of thing where we keep buying the lottery tickets, hoping for a big win, instead of investing that same money in some way that will make us rich 10 years from now. We hope and we delude ourselves into thinking that maybe I can get that 1,000x gain instantly, right, with some hack, instead of doing systematically doing the things that's going to get us that 1,000x gain over time. And again, this is where it becomes an advantage. If you can shift your mind away from the hacks and quick tips, if you can get yourself to focus on building these skills gradually and accept that it's going to take time, right? Accept that you're going to start out being not very good at it. And it's just something you gradually do over time every day. And it's something that pays off in the time frame of months, years, and decades. If you can do that, you make yourself the exception in this super distracted world. All right, so this is a bit of a rant, right? I got a bit carried away, as you probably noticed. And, you know, even as I'm recording this, I know and I realize the problem this video has is that it lacks that instant gratification factor. You know, where's the, where's the app to install? Where is the, the five ways to manage your to-do list kind of thing? Right? Where's the advice you can take and implement and see a result from right away? And, of course, it's missing because that's basically the point. So I know this is difficult and I know this video is probably not gonna be very popular because of it, but I can't overstate how important this is. I can't overstate how important this message is to me. So I'd really like to hear your thoughts. I'd really like to hear what your take is on this and whether this message resonates with you or not. And so leave a comment below and let me know. And if you know anyone you think could benefit from hearing this message, why don't you send them a link to it? Because, yeah, you know, the algorithms are not going to reward this kind of content, right? In terms of engagement and clicks and so on, this is not going to spread. But if you think this is an important message and you know someone who could benefit from hearing it, why not help them out by sending them a link to this? And, of course, I would appreciate that as well. So I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this. So leave a comment below and thank you for watching.